Well, many church members and leaders probably wonder how they can make a bigger impact in their city. But few have probably seen the kind of initiative that Scott Dakin and Danny Gray helped orchestrate in the city of Windsor, Ontario, Canada. And they're with me today to talk about how they mobilized thousands of Christians to demonstrate love for the city of Windsor, Ontario. Scott is the associate pastor at Ambassador Baptist Church, and Danny Gray has served on the staff at Parkwood Gospel Temple in Windsor as the missions pastor. Welcome. Glad to be here. Thanks. Really glad you guys are here. So tell me, where did this idea of We Love Windsor come from? Because it's more than one church. It's actually, it's a citywide movement among Christians in Windsor. Yeah. Well, it originated ahead, with the, uh, the Pentecostal Assemblies of Canada. Uh, what they did is they have these We Are Christ days, and they would go from city to city um, and really try to bring in the, the body of Christ. And so in 2014, Windsor was that city. And so uh, uh, the Pentecost Assemblies of Canada came in. We had this great event. And then when it was done, we just kind of thought to ourselves that, hey, we can do this ourselves. And so uh, th there was such good uh, vibes kind of coming from all the other churches and pastors that we uh, we got together and uh, 2015, we decided that we were just going to try it again, and um, it's been growing. And so this, what just happened June 13th, was our second year doing it, but it was, uh, it was great. So it started as denominational, but it spread out. I mean, we have Pentecostal and Baptist right here in, in uh -huh. the two chairs. So, Scott, how did that feel for you the first year that you sort of watched other churches do it? Was that something you knew you wanted to be a part of? And actually, the last year, 2014, when we joined in as a Baptist church, there was some others that came on board with it. Okay. Uh, and we just saw the value of the whole kingdom of God mentality across the city versus draw, you know, our tribes of Baptist Pentecostal. So we just thought, let's drop that and focus on reaching out uh, together, yeah. So Danny, tell us what you did. How do you love a city? How, how did you guys do that? Yeah. Well, I guess what it, it started in prayer. Okay. Uh, actually, our uh, lead pastor, Mark Hazard, he um, kind of spearheaded this prayer movement where we invited 200 churches in our city to take part in this. About 50 did, but still, that's a good start. Mm -hmm. 50. Uh, churches came together on May 1st. We had a prayer rally. Uh, and what we did is we divided our uh, city into all these different zones. And uh, there was 1,800 kilometers of streets that in the month of May, we prayed for. There was, there was over 600 different uh, groups of people that went out and just usually in about a three kilometer stretch. Um, and so just in that month, every inch of uh, Windsor, uh, Tecumseh and LaSalle completely covered in prayer in preparation for the We Love Windsor Day. Scott, how did you do that? Like, did you do some prayer walking? Like, like, yeah. like every, every kilometer, every mile was covered? Everything was covered. So there was, a, I believe, 600 assignments, about three kilometers each. And we went out in, pr in uh, pairs to pray. And it was simply, you know, asking for the Lord's blessing on the street. Nothing, mm -hmm. no, no kneeling on front lawns and all right. that kind of stuff. <laughs> Nothing kind of dramatic or no. like knocking on doors. But so people would just walk down a street and pray for the people who lived in the homes. That's right, yeah. Absolutely. Wow, that's cool. Now, what, what are some other things you did? Because it was, it was a pretty multifaceted approach. Yeah, so the, the Pray in May was the lead-in, really, mm -hmm. to the We Love Windsor Day on June 13th. And what happened was on that day, we had uh, 31 sites across the city where we had uh, fun fairs, we had car washes, we had free haircuts, barbecues. And it was just a way of saying, we are here in the community, we want to bless you folks. And 31 sites, we had just under 1,000 volunteers Wow. And we, we figured we served over 4,000 hot dogs <laughs> all across the board. So. And, and all this was free, like nobody all had free, to pay. Yeah. So yeah. you could get your car washed, your hair cut, you get a free hot dog. It's always a good day. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, that's amazing. What kind of impact do you think it had on your city, Danny? I think a great impact. Um, and it was, it was kind of fun the way we did it this year where every local church had their own specific event to look over. Mm -hmm. And usually those events happened either at their church or in the neighborhood really close to their church. Um, and so the impact um, was just really, really good because you have a natural drawback kind of coming in and creating a more sustained long-term relationship with the communities around us. But it was, uh, yeah, such a phenomenal thing to, to take part in. And we're just still praying that the, uh, the, the seeds that um, 
that we cast out would fall on good soil. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so just praying that, you know, as one waters, one plants, but it's Christ who brings the growth. And so we're just praying that God would continue to bring the growth in Windsor. So this did obviously something for the city, but my guess is it probably did something to your churches as well. Scott, do you mm -hmm. want to talk about that for a second? Sure. Um, I would say that one of the churches, one of the responses I heard was, you know, this really got us on board with getting out into the community. So for some, it actually just kind of launched them into doing some more outreach. And I think just raising our sights up that uh, there are people all around us who need the Lord and we can do this collectively together. So it was a really neat uh, just cooperation spirit. Hmm. Yeah. If people are looking to do something similar in their city, um, what's the quick version of, of how do you even get started in this sort of thing? Yeah. That's a really, really yeah. good question. Um, it, I, I think first we would say that in Windsor by no means are we claiming to have uh, you know, reinvented the wheel here. Now sure. we have the model of, of how mission is done. Um, I think ultimately it was birthed out of prayer and it was birthed out of unity that was already there. Hmm. There was, uh, Windsor is a great city for the connection uh, be between the churches and the pastors. And so when, when we decided to go into this, there was already um, a pretty good platform for us to stand on, uh, a, a great respect from pastor to pastor and church to church. And so, uh, yeah, I, th I think that's, that's kind of, how it worked for us. Yeah, that's a good point. I have friends who pastor uh, churches in Windsor, and you're right, they're very connected. And I think that starts, I'm speaking as a senior pastor, that starts at the senior pastor level. You mm -hmm. have to be friends uh, with the other pastors because if you're trying to break down walls, maybe that's the best place to start, right? Scott and Danny, mm -hmm. it's like if you're the senior leader or one of the senior leaders or an elder, um, maybe what you need to do is just pick up the phone and call somebody and go for lunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And actually realize you have way more in common than what divides. Well, Absolutely. thank you so much for making a great impact on your cities. It's, it's yeah. so encouraging. And I know you've inspired people already. And I think probably a tremendous witness to uh, the people who don't yet follow Jesus in Windsor mm -hmm. and beyond.